Right, point I want to get across to you here is that everybody is bloody different. So different and so normal in their differences. This procedure is just 100% not ever going to be worth it for you if you are doing it for purely cosmetic reasons. There is an issue a lot deeper than something you perceive to be wrong about your body that you need to be addressing for yourself before you even think about going anywhere near a freaking scarpel. Like, seriously. Do you really want a surgeon poking about down there with a knife if you can help it? Or like, lasers or whatever they friggin' do it with, I don't know, but they this pretty brutal lady and we're sensitive down there. Why are you considering doing this to your poor, beautiful, normal body? No, it's not worth it, honey. There is so much there's so much more to you than your appearance. Like Don't even entertain the idea. You are so normal and so gorgeous. I was too afraid to ask anyone properly about it. That's how ridiculous it is. People go through with things like this before even speaking to anyone properly about it because they're so embarrassed to talk about vaginas and bloody vulvas and fanny lips and things like that. People are too scared to even mention it. Oh my gosh, she just said fanny lips. Like, Freaking hell, man, talk about these things. If we talk about these things with each other, life will be so much more easy because it's not even a big deal. It's just another part of your body. Like, get over it. <laughs> Ooh, passion. Um, Pink is my favorite crayon. I'm in a position where I can put myself out there openly and honestly not give a shit what anyone really thinks about me and in turn hopefully use my story to help other young women that might be struggling or older women this can affect you at any age like body image issues um, in today's society are prevalent like I think that's the word I was looking for that's quite a big word for me Ooh. Um, Okay, so when I was 15 years old, I opted for a labiaplasty surgery, which involves um, surgically removing some of your inner labia. Wonderful, wonderful. Yes, sister, you watching this? You're worrying about your foof? Don't. I am here, message me. Message me any question about Foofies, you want to if it's going to help you accept your body just as it is and stop you from making a silly decision that you will quite possibly regret for the rest of your life. And there will be nothing you can do about it after the surgery because the surgery is irreversible. They are not going to be able to stitch those fanny flaps back onto you if you decide you want them back. All right. So just keep them for now, please. This is your pleasure we're talking about. Do you know how sensitive it is down there? how many nerve endings you've got down there and trust me they're not going to be looking at each little one when they're down there like oh we better go careful with that one no they're just going to go that's gone cool oh hopefully the clitoris is still completely intact do you know what i mean do you know it's not worth it not worth putting yourself through it there's a healing time afterwards there are scars to deal with i am 10 years on from the procedure i had done it's taken me 10 years of dealing with emotional turmoil surrounding the operation to get to this point where I can speak to you about it in order to try and desperately desperately stop you from making the same silly mistake that I did scar tissue is still there for me 10 years on and it makes things a little bit more awkward and you have to think about things that should genuinely just flow naturally like you know you don't really want to be go Ooh, steady on there mate like ow you know you won't have to do that if you don't bother with the friggin procedure in the first place or if you have to that's all right and stop it because well, he's not doing a good job is he but yeah that's another issue <laughs> um oh God. faff about in it where have i put my little speech that i wrote and 
Thank you everyone for looking at it, by the way. I genuinely didn't think many people would read this, but the more people that read it, the better, because the more people that read it will get the perspective that they probably wouldn't have heard, because it sounds quite obscure, to be fair, if it's not something you're worried about. Um, right, okay. <clears throat> Here we go. I put it up with two pictures of my really happy, giggly, smiley mug on it, um, to prove to you that I am in a good place now. But it has taken a long freaking time and a lot of inner work to be able to get to this point now to be able to talk openly about this and it is just not worth the stress of having that procedure done I tell you I wish I could let any any of you out there worrying about the procedure I know exactly how alone you feel and how different and how freaky you feel and how awkward it is to talk to anyone about it because you think it's so obscure, you think someone's going to judge you, you think people think you're a freak if you admit that you your foof's odd or different or whatever you believe it to be, which it isn't. Like, you need to speak to someone about your body image concerns before you go and make any drastic decisions such as this. It's just... It's so final getting something like this done. You, Once it's gone, it's gone. And really, if you question yourself inwardly, I just don't see how you can be doing this solely for yourself. You're doing it to feel like you might need to be accepted or you think it will make you better and more people will love you or something, something like that. There's something deeper in there that you need to address by a emotional mental support rather than getting something physical done to your body um, on the topic of on the topic of getting the procedure done for issues of minor discomfort I can tell you it's a hundred times worse the other side of the operation in my case I don't know if it's made things better for other people it might have done I'm not sure I can only speak for myself but from my personal experience I thought I had discomfort before the operation I thought I felt annoyed that I couldn't wear certain underwear I felt annoyed that I couldn't wear like nice tight jeans nice nice tight trousers because it felt a little bit chafy a little bit rubby and I thought there was something wrong with me and I therefore I needed to change my body because of this reason, yada yada yada, um, issues of minor discomfort, pff, riding a bike, I can't freaking ride a bike now, I can tell you that because there's nothing down there like protecting the, the foofy, you know, the fanny lips are there to protect and cushion you down there, the more you've got down there, the the safer your lady parts are gonna be it's like wrapped it's wrapping you up and keeping you safe you don't want to just slice that stuff out and leave it out in the open to, to, so then you go friggin mountain biking because you think it's a fun idea and end up walking like a gangster for a week afterwards after having a procedure like that it's not fun just keep your lips as they are <laughs> you know yeah anyway there have been many times over the past 10 years that i didn't think i'd genuinely grin like this again i'm not looking for praise i'm putting this out here so that it hopefully reaches someone that may need to see it issues surrounding an intimate operation labiaplasty at the age of 15 girls not this young you don't need to do this they th it threw me into a dark mental cave. I felt like I'd lost all it meant to be a whole or a proper woman. And that ran really deep and it has run really deep and it has affected so many areas of my life. I've been stuck for so long as a result of this decision. I am now grateful for my experience so that I can hopefully use it as a means of inspiring self-love and confidence in the hearts of other fellow girls. There is no point in me going through all this crap if I can't put it out there to hopefully help someone not make the same mistake as I did. I don't have facts and figures for you all. I'm a busy creative, like getting into the science and stuff and all the data no that's over my head sorry I can't give you any tangible like 
numbers or whatever, I can talk from my heart and my own life experience, which I actually hear is a pretty good thing when you're looking for a job now. Um, <laughs> right, all I know is that you are gorgeous just the way you are. Yes, even you, you thinking that I'm talking to everyone else apart from you, I am friggin' looking at you, sister, I'm looking at you. You are normal and you're gorgeous and you do not need to change yourself. Not for you, not for anybody else, ever. Stay exactly as you are and you own your power. You own yourself. You are strong and you are gorgeous and you are beautiful and don't forget it. And put this little section on repeat as much as you need to, to believe that because I know it in my heart, honey. I know it. You are perfect. Okay, we've got that straight. Okay, where did I get to? Got a bit passionate again, sorry, not sorry. Please girls, if you know what a labiaplasty is and you've been considering it, message me. I will not share your info with anyone. That would be sadistic. The sensitive nature of the topic is why young women feel they can't reach out and instead opt for life-changing operations such as this. They're marketed as minor procedures, which I think is diabolical because you're talking about one of the most sensitive areas of your body and they say, yep, yeah, in and out, absolutely fine, no problem, give us the money. I actually had mine, even more shockingly, done on the NHS. No. Um, I don't think counselling was even mentioned beforehand. That's, that is nothing against the NHS by the way, I'm just shocked that it was in my case even allowed to happen, but uh, yeah. <sighs> Sorry, I lost track. I can strive to help give you the perspective you have been needing to hear. I'm putting this out there because this is how not worth it the operation is. I'm feeling strong enough to speak out. Own your unique beauty. You are so normal. Said it earlier, said it again. I'll say it as many times as you need to hear it. You are so normal. You are so normal. You are so bloody normal so bloody normal you're virgin on boring mate <laughs> i'm kidding you're gorgeous friggin own it man stop dwelling on this this part of your body it's just not even worth it just get on with it you have so many more important things to be focusing on right now just put it out of your mind you carry on you you date people you do what you want you get changed for swimming and you are not embarrassed because no one can see anything that you think you can see down there everyone has got little like lumps and bumps here and there and everywhere like no one's gonna notice that tiny little thing that you perceive to be a massive bulge in your bikini bottoms no one's gonna even see it you're looking at it because you've been looking at it every day like i need to do something about this when in reality there's nothing wrong and yes, you probably will only understand what the friggin' hell I'm on about if you're going through the same thing as well, otherwise it's just quite obscure, but... Not to us, honeys. Not to us. I know exactly where you're coming from. And it's not silly to feel any of these things, but it's... You're wrong. You're wrong about there being anything wrong with you. You're perfect. Bloody perfect. Right, where did I get to? Oh, I just started rambling about the same things, really. Yeah, look after yourselves. Piece of friggin' hell out. Uh, hippie fell out my mouth then. Point anyone in my direction. If they are bad mouthing their lady parts, basically, I can shut them down in 10 seconds with some sassy finger snaps, okay? I ain't messing. I'm serious. So serious. It's not worth the physical trauma, the emotional trauma, the mental trauma, I believe that's slightly different from emotional. It's not worth putting, putting yourself through it. You are 
you have so much to give the world you do not even need to give another second's worry to that area of your body just get on with it message me if you're stuck I will strive to get back to you as soon as I possibly can but do not do anything silly all right I love you with all my heart you are normal own it beautiful beautiful lady hugs and kisses I'm gonna actually put Aerosmith on for real now and have a little boogie pink is Ba -da 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 -da. Yeah.